Hello, my name's Dr. Gill. Uh, I've been asked to do a neurological examination on you today, specifically with regard to your upper limbs. Before we start, can we please confirm your name and date of birth? Nita Kumar, 8972. Super, thank you. So, um, before we start, do you have any problems with your arms? No. Okay, and are you right or left-handed? Right. Super. So, just having a look at you from the end of the bed, I can't see any abnormalities, I can't see any obvious uh, fasciculations, I can't see any tremors. If you could turn your hands over for me, please. And I can't see any evidence of scars or muscle wasting, so that all seems normal. And if you could just make a fist for me, that's it. And holding it nice and tight, and then turning it and relaxing. Um, now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to move your hands. So I'm just going to relax for me, just let me do the movements. So that's the wrist, elbow, and all the way out to the shoulder. That feels fine. We're going to do the same again on the side. So again, let me take your hand. Let me do the movements. Okay. Everything feels normal there. No obvious issues. That's fantastic. No problems with that. Um, so now I want to go on to test the power, so I'm going to ask you to uh, do um, put your hands in certain ways to prevent me um, moving you. So we're going to start off with the shoulders, so if you put your arms up like so for me. Don't let me move your arms, so don't let me push you down. Excellent. And now you, you push me down. Fantastic. So if you put your elbows and arms up like so, don't let me move your arms. So don't let me straighten it. Great. And don't let me push it back. Fantastic. Don't let me straighten it. And don't let me push it back. Super. Put your arms out like so, please. Okay, so we're just going to check the power of your wrist. So don't let me move your wrist. Super. Don't let me move your wrist. Super. Don't let me move your wrist. And don't let me move your wrist. Fantastic. So if you could uh, grip my fingers for me, squeeze them tight as you can, try and break them, really go for it. That's fine. And relax for me. Don't let me move your fingers. Super. And don't let me move your fingers. Excellent. And if you spread your fingers out like so, I'm using the same finger to try and close them. Don't let me move them. Great. Don't let me move them. That's fantastic. Super. So we're going to have a look at your thumbs. So if you could raise your thumbs up like so for me. And don't let me push it down. Fantastic. If you could put your thumb and your little finger together. Okay. Don't let me pull through. Super. Don't let me pull through. Great. So I'm just going to get this paper. I'm going to put it between, it relax for me. I'm going to put it between my um, uh, middle and index finger. And don't let me pull that out. Good. Super. And relax. And again, don't let me pull it. Super. So I haven't found any issues with power at all. Uh, now we're going to check your reflexes. So you already have confirmed it, but I just want to double check there's no areas of pain at the moment. No. Super. So if you stay loose and floppy for me, and let me move your arms. So nice, loose and floppy, let me take the weight. Just relax for me. Nice, loose and floppy. There we go. So do it a drop straight down. Okay, that's reasonable. I'm going to come out to the side. Again, relax, loose and floppy, let me take the weight. There we go. Excellent reflex. So I'm going to come around to check the bicep. So then, again, let me take the arm and take, let me take the weight. Super. I'll do the same again on this side. Super. So we're just going to check the reflex over the wrists. Excellent. Okay. Super. Um, we're going to have a look at your fingers now. I'm just going to check the reflexes here. Good. We've got a nice contraction of the fingers. Same again over here. Just relax for me. Excellent. So we've not got any problems with um, the movements. Um, now we're going to go on to check um, sensation. So this is cotton wool. I'm just going to twizzle it out into a point. Okay. And keep your eyes open. I'm going to touch your chest. Can you feel that? Yes. Super. So with your uh, palms up as you're doing, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and I want to say yes when you feel me touch you. Yes. 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 Superb. So no problems with that. Okay. Open your eyes. So this is a neurotip, so it's a blunt uh, needle. 
So I'm just going to touch the top of your chest. It won't hurt. You can feel that? Yes. Super. So we're going to do the same again now. If you, again, if you close your eyes and say yes when you feel me touch you. Yes. 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 Fantastic. Okay, so um, I've got the tuning fork here, so I'm just going to strike this, and in a moment I'm going to put it on your fingertip. What I need you to tell me is when the vibration disappears. So we'll do it on your chest first. You can feel that vibration? Yes. Tell me when it stops. Stop. Super. So we're going to do the same again now. If you close your eyes, please. You feel the vibration? Yes. Tell me when it stops. Stop. Super. And once more. Yes. Stop. Fantastic. So we've got no problems there. Okay, so um, we're now going to do the, uh, the last bit, so just some um, exercises for you. So um, if you could start uh, by clapping your hands like so. And then back, front, back, front. Fantastic. If you can swap sides for me. And back, front, back, front. Excellent. Okay, and relax. So if you could stretch your finger out all the way in front for me. Okay, and take this finger and touch your nose, please. And back to my finger. And then keep doing that as quick as you can. That's fantastic. And swap over for me. So again, stretch the other arm out. And then finger to nose. As fast as we can. Superb. So we've got no issues uh, with that there. Um, I'm now going to finish off with what we call proprioception. So I'm going to take your hand and I'm going to specifically take your fingertip. And I'm going to hold by the edges. So keep your eyes open. That's down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's up. And that's middle. Okay. So if you close your eyes for me, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Which way is it pointing? Up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Down. Superb. We're going to do the same on the other hand. So we're going to take over. And if you open your eyes, we're doing wiggle, 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 up. Wiggle, 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 down. Wiggle, 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 middle. So if you close your eyes for me, and I'm going to wiggle. Tell me which way it's pointing. Up. Down. Middle. Up. Fantastic. So we've not got any issues um, with that. Um, have you noticed any difficulties doing buttons and things like that? No. Fantastic. And um, any pins and needles to your fingers any pro uh, that you can remember? No. Good. And any weakness to the hands? No. Super. Thank you very much. To complete the examination, we would often organise for a carpal tunnel exam, uh, but we're, we're, we don't need to do that at the moment. Do you have any questions for myself? No, I don't. Super. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.